Look at that thing. That thing is huge. That thing is huge, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pull it in. Oh, big bootstock nail. Big bootstock nail. Oh my goodness, that fish is huge, guys. All right, guys, this is gonna be Fast and the Furious, hopefully. Do as I say, not as I do. I am on thin ice. I am on about two inches of ice, but I'm not going over probably my waist in deep water. I have a clothes suit on. I have ice picks on that are right here. And I have people that know where I am. And the actual police for this town also know where I am because I followed them into this area. And they weren't super happy that I was here. Not really, sh not really sure why. Uh, they said this is their normal patrol route. So we're setting up jawjackers and snappers. We're going after monster, monster rook trout. So we have a bunch to set up with worms and some with eggs. And. This is plan B today. Plan A was very successful. So I'm really hoping plan B is even better. I'm shaking with excitement. I'm not the first person here. Somebody else has already come out here and fished. This is usually a pretty productive area. Um, but the problem is every year we get later and later ice and people come in fish this from shore and kind of push the fish all away from the boat launch where they're stocked. Now this pond is a hundred percent a put and take fishery. Fishing game puts them in. Your license pays for these fish. Come take them, come eat them, come deep fry them and feed them to your dog, which is what I've heard people do with these fish because they don't taste the best. Uh, but some people say they taste great, so I don't know. That's done and two more to go. And now brook trout are kind of a schooling fish, uh, especially when they're stocked together. So these fish are all stocked at the same time, plus or minus a couple of days. Now I'm hoping, like I said, this, these fish are a schooling fish. They kind of cruise the shoreline back and forth. Uh, I'm running out of dig light. Uh, there's a premier spot in that direction but there's an inlet over there and there's an inlet or an outlet actually over there. And there's a spring in the middle. Do some sight fishing right here first and see if one of these jaw jackers goes off. Yeah, now we just gotta be quiet and wait. Oh, there's one right there. Come on. There is a big rookie underneath my feet, guys. Oh, come on. Hit the stupid thing. I'd say I'm not shallow enough, but I think I am on a couple of those out there. Oh, got one, got one, got one, got one. Got one, guys. Got one. Got one, got one. Oh, big rookie gun on the ice, guys. Big, big rookie. Big rookie. Big rookie. Look at that fish under the ice, guys. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. That thing is huge, guys. That thing is huge. Not really yet. thing is massive. They do not like getting near the hole. Yes. Yes. On the egg because it's wet right now, it's below freezing, but little tiny egg. That is a beautiful, beautiful 
New Hampshire stocked brook trout. Doesn't get any prettier than that. Actually, a female uh, has eggs coming out the back there. Super sweet. Going right back in, guys. Yes, yes, yes. That was worth turning around for. I was actually far south. Made a decision with my lovely wife to uh, change plans, come back here, and catch one of those beautiful rookies. And uh, these are the eggs I'm using. This were recommended by uh, Woods and Weeds Outdoors. She's got a YouTube channel over in Vermont, but he spent some time over here in New Hampshire. Uh, but they're gulp alive floating salmon eggs, and they work fantastic. Uh, except for you want, to, uh, want eggs to sink, which then they're not fantastic. See if any of these other guys go off here. You can tell when those are bigger brookies. They just double that little rod right over. And like most of New Hampshire knows where I am, there's people in Canada that do the same thing. They fish these remote lakes. They actually name the lakes. People, stop whining. And I also feel like a split shot placement and how big that split shot is matters a ton when you're, when you're trying to set a hook like that instantly. If they're swimming with a parallel, they pick it up and start swimming with it. That split shot can add weight to their mouth and they'll spit it out. I've seen it on underwater footage actually in this lake. That was pretty crazy. So let me know in the comments what you guys use for a split shot and how far up, or if you use any split shot at all. Oh, get another one, get another one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, he's gonna pull it in. Oh, big rootstock male. Big rootstock male. Stay on there, buddy. Just reset this one up with a worm. And that was my last worm. Oh, stay on there, worm. Yeah, there we go. Kept the worm. Big brood stock. Male brook trout. Huge brook trout, guys. Huge brook trout. All right, love playing these fish. Hopefully I'm saving this worm here, folks. I'm gonna go weightless on this only because I lost my split shot. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that or not. But this is what happens. It's like a little flurry and then it may die down. Um, but if you were using a jaw jacket right here, that trigger would be wet. It would freeze with the temperatures right now and it would lock up and not go off. They are super sensitive biters and they can feel any sort of tension on that and they will spit it right out. I've seen it happen, not so much a, a a worm, uh, but an egg, I've seen him just literally exhale it. Super annoying. These boot stocks fight so freaking hard compared to, I mean, you're only fighting them in a couple feet of water, so they want to go sideways. So they actually put a good bend in those rods. I'll show you real quick what hooks I'm using. I'm using the mosquito hook by owner. It's a number eight. I used these years ago on massive, biggest brown trout that I've ever caught, 28 inch brown trout. So. They hold up for sure. And I'm using eight pound test and I think six pound on some rods. Oh, got another one right behind me. Ooh, with, nope, he's still on there. He's still on there. He's still on, oh, he's off. Dang. He's off, he was right there though. Oh no! <clears throat> Just can't get out of his face. Oh, he's right there, guys. He's right there. See him? He's right there. Got him. Sight fished him. Sight fished him, guys. <laughs> I absolutely love this pond. I absolutely love this pond. Sight fished him with the worm. Got the worm back. This fish is uh, extremely happy to see me here. What a beauty. What a beautiful fish. 
What a beauty. Just sight fished that one. That was sweet. Going back in. Woo! They seem to like the worms, but I am out of worms, unfortunately. I'm out of worms, guys. I'm getting nervous. Getting nervous that that might be it. But I have had one on an egg, so we'll see. And like I said, they're literally going back and forth and back and forth. They troll the edges of the shore looking for caddis hatching worms you know if they ended up in the water or not um, also there's lots of other stuff to eat out here there's uh, baby perch that they'll eat I've had them eat like a, inhale like a three inch shiner especially those bigger ones Brute stock. now this program they sock it either underneath the ice or just before ice and that's why I'm on here just as ice is getting set up basically I'm gonna move, I'm gonna do something stupid guys. I'm gonna go dig over in one of my holes here. See if they just want something active. And usually what happens is while I'm packing up, one will go off. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. There's one right there. Oh, he's in the ice. Oh, he's in the ice. Big one. Ooh, big female. Stay on, girl. Oh my goodness, this fish is huge, guys. This fish is huge. Just gonna tire her out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this fish is huge. What a tank. What a tank. And sometimes they'll just do that. They'll just bolt slip themselves right out of the, the hole there. Can't even get my hand around her. She's so freaking big. That's the size of that fish. Spewing eggs. Big, healthy female. Going right back in. Always happens. You're trying to leave and then another one goes off. Ugh. That was epic. That was epic, guys and girls. Do a little B-roll packed up kind of thing. Well, we got batteries dying and the sun is going down. We only have a, a little bit left here. I can legally fish two hours into the dark. I, I don't want to do that. So if you want to see more brook trout style videos and more ice fishing content, either click here or click here and I'll see you in one of those next videos. I made a couple videos from here. If you want to see the, the one where I saved the guy last year, I'll leave a link to that one below. And um, how to do this kind of style fishing, I'll leave that below. And one from here where I caught a ton of brook trout. It was one of my first uh, like big ice fishing videos. So I'll leave that below. So make sure you guys click on those and I'll see you on one of those next videos. And there'll be more content coming out throughout the winter. And January 1st hits the lake trout. No matter, I'll go find safe ice on January 1st. Usually I camp on the ice that night. But if you want to continue to support the channel, visit BennettFish.com.